Hi, I'm James Carl Morrison. I bitch about it, so you fuckers can listen. Well, let's start things off. I don't get why critics, movie critics, really, really dig into the Transformers films. I don't know why they hate them, because it's so blatantly obvious that they're not films that are meant to engage you on the intellectual level. Blatantly not. You know, they're, they're popcorn movies, you know? I really, really loved the Transformers films up to this point. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, I understand. I totally get I, the criticism from amateur to professional. You know, the, the characters are inconsistent and undeveloped. You know, the plot's a bit wavy, especially in the second one. And, yeah, the, all the, the classic Mike, Michael Bay cliches are there. But, I mean, this franchise suited him so well. I, you know, for a guy that just made popcorn movies, just stuff to thrill you, not to engage you mentally. This this fit in like the, the trousers of a man of five penises, like a glove. You know, I, I just don't get what people were expecting from a franchise based on 1980s buddy toys that transformed from cars to robots. You know, this isn't... It's not like he's raping the, 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 the complete works of Shakespeare here. He's not be fouling or pissing on the works of Nostradamus, you know, this this has never been intellectual stuff. So I don't get why people hated it. I mean, you can criticise the design. I mean, you can criticise the design of decent films. You, you know, I mean, it's that's how it is. I mean, I, I totally get that people don't like the look of uh, Optimus Prime. I never did. But at the end of the day, I always felt that these were very high, high action, eye candy, Full of eye candy, uh -huh. Megan Fox, yum. Uh, to, and funny in places, yeah. I really did enjoy them. Having said that, <laughs> I've just watched Transformers 3. It's shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just, uh, I just didn't like it. I did not like it. It's For one, it's way too long. Two and a half hours, it just dragged on for God knows how long. Um, basically, everything that the critics hated um, about the first two films is insanely overemphasized in this. Um, you know, the characters are way underdeveloped to the point where you're not going to recognize the majority of the actual Transformers, good or bad. Um, you recognise more of the Decepticons. Uh, Laserbeak makes an appearance, uh, as does Soundwave in the mechanoid form. Um, uh, Shockwave. I never, I never heard. I didn't see a lot of Shockwave, but if he was part of the Hasbro cartoons back in the day, he's in it. Um, Starscreen and Megatron, of course, and that's about it. That's all I could really recognise. Um, not a lot from the order box. Ironhide and Optimus Prime are really the only recognisable ones. And oh my god, I know Michael Bay is criticised from stealing from other films, but fuck me, he should be taken to fucking court and spanked rotten for Transformers 3. The amount of shit just ripped... Now there's such a fine difference from just ripping off to, insp to being inspired. And this is just... Fucking ripping off. Put it this way. Let's 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 put it this way. There's a transformer, an Autobot transformer who is old, who invents new technology for the transformers and the humans. And guess what his name is? Q. What? Ring any fucking bells? Literally Q. Facial design and everything. It's it's you know old guy who demonstrates his brilliant inventions for comic laughs that are used without the... It's Q from James Bond. Straight up Q from fucking James Bond. There are, like, sandworm transformers. Literally, almost duplicated from Dune. These little sandworms, I mean, Christ, it's been... The, the, it could be the, the shit from Beetlejuice, for all I know. Or, you know, I don't know, but it, it, they are... They, it almost look... They, oh, no, they're Dune. It's blatantly Dune. Uh, oh, man. Leonard Nimoy 
is um, plays uh, the new guy. Uh, the new guy. Um, I forgot his name. Uh, the, the, the other prime. Um, I always said Rodimus Prime, but no, he's not Rodimus Prime. Uh, but he's a, he's a new Transformer, and uh, he quotes lines from Star Trek: "The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few." He quotes that in the fucking movie, and it's not. It's it seriously isn't a tribute. It it, it it's not meant to be. It's not underlined as a tribute. It, it's almost thrown in with the rest of the lines. It, it it's ripping off. It's a blatant rip off. And the the new woman, the new girl. Oh, I wish I could just get some tits and you know have a fine ass body and hair because that's all it fucking takes, isn't it? Uh, this woman could not act for shit. She was all right at first. Don't get me wrong. You you, you first look at her and you think, well, okay, she's not Megan Fox. You know, she's not. Uh, giving me instant erections, but okay, she's pretty damn hot. I see why she's been cast, but fuck me, she cannot act for crap. Oh my good god, a plank of fucking wood could do better than this woman. I, I kid you fucking not. And I'm not on a high horse because, you know, I'm a good actor and I did a lot of Amdram back in my day. Dear Lord, she's fucking terrible. Terrible. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. She's going out with Jason Statham. I don't. I'm sorry. I don't know her name. She's from Plymouth. I know that much. And she was a um, being underwear model. But she's going out with Jason Statham. I swear, she must have got him to threaten these guys. To eat. I mean, Jason Statham could kick the shit out of anybody. I, I reckon she just took him to the casting buddy day and just said, "All right, hire me, or this fucker's gonna kick your fucking head in." In a, in, a Plymouth, in a Plymouth voice. I can't do a Plymouth voice. I'm not motivated to do a Plymouth voice. I won't. Well, you will kick your fucking head in. Okay, I just did it. No, it's not Plymouth. But still, fuck me, she's terrible. There's this... Oh. Okay, I mean, to, to, to talk about the good things. There is a good, decent like plot twist in it. I won't tell you what it is, but it's a really, really good one. Um, some of the Michael Bay cliches are actually... Pretty damn cool. Um, he has this thing where he gets like special landmarks uh, from America, recognisable landmarks, and he uses them uh, in the films. The one that he does use is really cool with Megatron. Really, really cool. And the rest of it is okay. Uh, you know, and action-wise, uh, it's very hard to follow in places, I will say that. <sighs> it just wasn't good. It was two and a half hours. It was draining. It really drained... Drain, drain me. I'm sorry, guys. I wanted, I wanted to love this film, and you know, I wanted to turn my brain off and just, just enjoy the explosions and, and the fine ass women, but it just wasn't, it wasn't there. It was just too full of fucking stupid. It really was. I'm sorry. There are, there are good bits. I mean, and hey, you know what? Some critics, some critics are just plain wrong. I went with four of different guys. And they all said that they enjoyed it. I'm the only one that hated it. So if you if you are a fan of the other two films, by all means, give it a go, because you may you may actually enjoy it. But I mean, there's just so many slow motion pan shots that just meant nothing. There's and that one with all the explosions going on, and that fucking woman is just fucking standing there like a fucking plank, just like this. Her face can't fucking move. It's, it's literally big lips fucking... Mm. That's it. That's your, that's your actress. That's it. See, I could have been made, I could have been men in boxes standing. See? I could have done it. <clears throat> Fuck. Ah. Uh. Recommended to Transformer fans only. I think you're the only guys that would ever put up with this. And I'm, just, I've heard, I'm not a reliable source. I admit, I've heard that this may be the last one. So no Unicron, no uh, Dinobots, and that that Transformer that was voiced by the the guy with, who was the fastest speaker alive. I wanted to see him as well, but no. No hot rod either, you know, so a, lo a lot of disappointed uh, big time fans out there. Never mind. Maybe we'll get make another one, who the hell knows. This is Morris Sony signing out. Terrible.